Also, with the shortage of ICU beds and staff on hand so dire, Brad Broders tells us officials in Crittenden County are now asking residents to avoid getting COVID tests at the only hospital in West Memphis. That's so they can preserve resources. We're certainly experiencing some burnout and you know, like I tell people all the time, it's one thing if you could leave COVID at the office, but this goes home with you. Dr. Susan Ward-Jones said that COVID strain and stress is intensifying again for she and her staff at the East Arkansas Family Health Center. Active COVID cases in this area skyrocketed from 22 to a new high of 367 in just the past month. We're seeing a whole a bunch more coming in, particularly that are symptomatic and we try to do screening at the at the door. Monday, the same day COVID hospitalizations in Arkansas also set a new record high. Those in the city of West Memphis posted that residents not go to Baptist Crittenden for COVID testing, but a clinic or doctor's office instead. And we don't want to overwhelm that hospital setting when we have local uh, practitioners here in town. We are seeing uh, some of the highest volumes that we've ever seen in our emergency department. Brian Welton is CEO of Baptist Crittenden, an 11 bed facility which opened in late 2018. Last week we saw about 83 patients per day in our emergency department. Um, you know, prior to COVID and in the early stages of, of the pandemic, we were seeing uh, around 60 a day. The record surge of COVID-19 active cases in Crittenden County, Arkansas the last month also means a sharp uptick in COVID-19 testing at clinics like these. The problem is the West Memphis area still lags in vaccinations with less than 30% fully vaxxed. Those children, a lot of them 12 and under, they can't get vaccinated. So we are their support. You know, we are the ones who have to protect them. Dr. Ward Jones also said Tuesday the ongoing pandemic continues to impact patients coming in for routine checkups and preventative care, including cancer screenings. In West Memphis, Arkansas, I'm Brian Broders reporting.